Good evening and welcome to tonight's show from DJN TV, Disc Jockey News TV. Tonight's show is brought to you by Electra Voice. DJ Trivia. Odyssey Innovative Designs and Cases. And Professional. Promo only, and the DJ and TV insiders. Everybody and welcome to your Monday night. And as we're playing around with all the different features, I apparently now have a sponsor. We'll try that, right? <laughs> if, only, if only that actually worked. Yeah, that's that a really good sponsor. Yeah, good that one, is, yeah. that is. But apparently, I have no idea how now to turn it off. So we're just gonna <laughs> so go with it. You're gonna be the donut man. You're doing it, man. You're doing I it. am. I am. We'll, we'll figure it out before before time is done. But anyway, thank you very much for joining us. Um, I guess I should have known when when they throw me that thing like two minutes before. Don't mess with stuff as as it's coming. But um, <laughs> well, that would be a, a, great a great lesson. A great lesson. You notice though, we have somebody with us tonight. Like it's not John and I just. Right talking over, to each other. Right over here. It's great. <laughs> this, I'm lost because I was like doing something. Shaney's background is going crazy. It's going working. crazy because like, I you saw my Michael Jordan for a second. Yeah, everything oh, is coming. Michael there, Jordan. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There's Michael Jordan. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that would be cool. I have to keep my hand like right here. Yeah, you made that <laughs> just to happen. I have to do I have to do Michael this. Jordan. I'll give you a flip around. So you can see Michael Jordan <laughs> talking over me. Uh. <laughs> that would, I'll just do the whole show like this. It's all good. There you go. If the arm could stay there the whole time, I'd be very impressed with like your like your arm skills because mine would get I'll tired just, after a while. I'll just keep doing that every once in a while. <laughs> Let's go for the jump shot. <laughs> Shania, I've missed you. Hi guys, the amigos are back. Yay! Yay. And to celebrate our coming back, you have got the ultimate list of everything we've wanted to know. Yes, I have the list of all the Vegas residencies right now. <laughs> and <laughs> when the jazz albums were going to hit. Um, well, we're also we going to practice. Right, right. We're also going to talk about our, our new album that's going to be coming out <laughs> soon that we've been that we've been working on. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, we, we need new hobbies. I mean, that's kind of what I'm talking about right now is like we need some new hobbies to do some stuff. What happened to Duncan? I, I, I just wasn't feeling it anymore. There's, there's, I have a better one, but it, it's not showing up in my. Do you want MJ? <sighs> MJ? Michael there Jordan. Is. Yeah, there he is. I don't know why that happens that way. That's that is so weird. I think it, re it recognizes like a person. Yeah, it recognizes like, my, where your this, hands. Yeah. Oh, I suppose, and then a hand, and then a person. Oh, yeah, because oh. if I do it on this side, you don't see you don't see any of my room. But on this side, you definitely see my MJ for my live streams. <laughs> Excellent. So let's jump into our list for tonight. Yes. So basically, I'm kind of just going over um, things that you should be doing in the quarantine to, of course, keep you busy and also help you. So when we get back to DJing again, you're not going to be one of those people that said, I wish I had time to do. I wish I had more time so I could do. Man. OK. If I could only had some time. Can we so add, I could do. Can we add an element to this? Yeah. So you're going to give us a topic of something that we could be working on right now. And yes. then in the chat room, I want you guys to vote on who is more likely to do that between Dan and I. <laughs> 
So if it's can I be that, part of this too or no? Well, if, yeah, well, yeah, you can. You'll be the no. One. Just do it between John. Yeah, I want yeah, to. Yeah, as far as between us, yeah. but then Shane, so you she's can, looking at her list and she goes, "Oh, yeah." <laughs> I, don't know. I want it to be between between them. Yeah. So and so. and this is not just for the two of them. This is for all you guys. Yeah. So I mean, I know a lot of us have time on our hands, even if we have kids at home and, you know, we're, we're doing the, the, the online school stuff and you got to keep them busy and stuff, but there's still time that we have, especially being DJs and on our hours of doing things for ourselves and really for our business. So when business is finally back, we're not doing those. I wish I had time to do this. I wish I could have done this. I wish I could have done that. Cause I know here in Chicago, we're past day 30 of our in-home quarantine. Mm-hmm. So we're already 30 days into it. And I, and I get it that like some people kind of had like two weeks of, of just sitting on their booty kind of being like, really? Oh my God, I have to wake up. I have to start doing things. Like I, I thought this isn't going to be what it is. So I definitely like the first week was, was kind of like in that denial when I started getting the phone calls and the emails and the text messages of events and clubs and, and, and my out of town work and my corporate work and, and those, and I was kind of just like, okay, where's the chocolate cake? Where's this? Okay. And then finally, (laughs) after like a week or so, I was like, you know what? I got to get my butt in gear. Let me start, let me start getting busy. Let me start doing stuff for me to get my business back up when I start up again. Excellent. So, um, yeah, so let's, let's just jump back into it. All right. So guys, again, in the chat, when I hit each number, you decide who you think is, who you think is doing it now or going to do it. What is it? Yeah, I I think it's, this is going to be like a shoe game, except it instead of a bride and groom, it's Dan and John. So you guys will pick who is most likely to do it, Dan or John. Or okay. have already done it. You know, it might be one of those things. And then after a little bit, then we'll give, then Dan and I will give our thoughts of which one of us it is. So we'll, you know, raise the shoe. I love it. This is beautiful. I might have to add more of that just to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to add more. Okay. So number one is a two-parter. So number one is something that Dan loves to do and was even talking about this last week. And that's organize your crates and your folders in in your music and not just organize it of your crates and folders but then also um go through your music and make sure you don't have like six versions of you know bodak yellow clean dirty 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 clean clean dirty twerk you know like you don't need all those versions of of bodak yellow so organize your crates and your folders and also go through your music so you get rid of, I don't know, 10 versions of Bruno Mars 24 Karat? Seriously, what happens if I get it requested 11 times and I only have 10 versions? I'm going to fail. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay. So organizing our crates and cleaning out duplicate songs. Yes. Those are the two parts for the first one. So that which, is correct. Which one of us is most likely to either have done that or do that during this slow time as we go through? Robin's already got her vote in. If you're on Facebook, it doesn't matter if you're Facebook or YouTube, please uh, go and, and uh, vote in the chat, either Dan or John in this particular case. Or you could say, you know, maybe Dan will organize his crates, but John will get rid of all his extra Huey Lewis in the news. Seriously, Um, woman. I have the camera shutting off button right here for saying things like that. I said extra. I didn't say... Can there ever be too many extra? You got to realize, Huey and Lewis in the news, nobody's going to make a second version. Because nothing can beat the (laughs) original. There could be like a redrum. Ooh. No, you you can't mess with you can't mess with. It's Huey. still good, but boy, I think what a redrum if it could bring more. That's what I'm saying. There could be. I'm gonna. John, can it make it better than the original? It could be. I mean, I, really? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be so set in my ways because you know, classic Coke and new Coke. You know, there was that. He brought up classic Coke and new Coke. I did. That's about as I dated did. as Huey Lewis in the news. <laughs> All right. So yeah. So um, <laughs> the votes on YouTube are going more towards Dan. Yeah. yeah. I've got. <laughs> oh, spa- is anybody voting on Facebook? <laughs> not, I haven't seen anything come through. I'm wondering if I'm not uh, not seeing a <laughs> blast for me, Bill Marsh. Yeah, I love Bill. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, so, so I think the fact that we did last week's show and the way we did it, that kind of gave away at least for this, because I think John, you even mentioned like, if this thing goes on for a long time, that's something you're going to get into. But at this point you weren't really going to focus too much on it. Um, and, but I and, know yeah. like how many times have we even heard during the season of people turning around and saying, Oh my God, I really have to reorganize my, my folders. I really have to reorganize my crates. Oh, my music's all over the place. Well, guess what people, this is the time you got nothing but time right now. This and I think it's important, though, to follow up with what, and, and Shane, you even mentioned that this in the chat room last week, if I remember correctly, the, the idea of not just reorganize, but before you do like a massive reorganization, yeah, get rid of the duplicates. That makes sense. Yeah. But before you do like a, a massive reorganization, start a little bit, play with it, see if it makes sense, and then continue on if it, if it does. And if it doesn't, find a new method. Don't, don't yeah. reorganize everything and then have to go back and reinvent the wheel. And that's the thing. I mean, so many different DJs have put out videos like this is how I organize my crates. This is how I organize my folders. And that's all great, but that might not work for Everybody. how you do events, how you want your music to be. And that's the whole thing. I mean, I can show how I do my crates, but then again, the types of events I do and the types of things in my head are probably not the same as somebody else that is doing an event and how they're thinking. So you got to kind of, you know, play around with it and, and kind of do what's best for you. And there's no, the good thing about this, it's your computer, it's your music. There's no right or wrong way. It's to you of how fast you can get there, how easy you can get there, how relaxed you are now when you're DJing and that's not your stressful thing. Of course, like I said, in the past, in the last couple of years, you know, if you got that five seconds left, you know, just, a pitbull song mm. <laughs> you know, when in doubt <laughs> there's always going to be some sort of pitbull song that's going to fit in if you got that five seconds and you don't want the dead air just type in pitbull and throw something on and, <laughs> and click this. trust me half the crowd will go crazy <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah so that is number one um i think most of it went went to went to dan there yeah. so. i i think yeah i think that was we'll, we'll okay we'll all it right down. so so number two Number two is with all of us at home and not doing events and not touching our equipment and not DJing. I'm not saying we're getting rusty. I'm not saying that, you know, that we're just, are, but I don't, you don't just have to practice, but you could act, actually live stream it. And you could like stream, you know, like right now, the, the, the big thing is Twitch, you know, like I'm, I'm on Twitch, you know, everyone's like, oh, I'm getting kicked off Facebook, really people like we don't know the reason why you're getting kicked off of Facebook, like, let's be real with it, you know, so live stream, and even if you don't want to live stream, or for whatever reasons, if you just don't feel comfortable with it, you just don't want you know, the public giving you criticism or whatever, I get that. So if you don't want to live stream, get on your equipment, make a mix, start a mix cloud. If you don't already have a mix cloud, get yourself out there. If you don't want to do it live, then do it Memorex and tape it and do a mix out there because guess what people self promotion right there. Self promotion. I just posted today. I just posted that I put a new mix on my mix cloud. Um, on my, on my Facebook. So I'm getting self-promotion right there for people that are, you know, clicking to my mix cloud and clicking on my mix and everything. So definitely if you don't want to go the live stream route, which once you, for those people that are just kind of like jittery with it, once you start it, it's, it's fun. It really is fun to just have, you know, you get to play whatever you want to play and you have fun with it. And if your friends are in the chat, you just like, I did a three hour set this past weekend. I wasn't planning on doing a three hour set, but people in my chat were just hysterical. Mm -hmm. Like they were just talking, like they were actually at the club saying to people like, Hey, I'm going to the bar. Anybody need a drink? <laughs> you know, things like that. Hey, there's, um, where can I, you know, Shaney, can I put my coat in your booth? I don't want to pay for coat check. I mean, it was like, it was like a hysterical thing. So like I said, if you don't feel comfortable doing the live stream, you know, on Instagram or Facebook or Twitch or however you're doing it, then make a mix. And, you know, put it out there or, you know, or if you don't even want to do that, you don't like the way it sounds, at least you're on your equipment and you're practicing, even though you're not practicing for any gigs, but that way you could still be updating your music and you could still be checking out the folders you did and see if you like the way they are and you could be doing, you know, anything you want. So excellent. There you go. So number two is which one between Dan and I would be most likely to be doing a live stream music show. 
or or it doesn't have to be live stream, but you, it also could be just uploading some new mixes or making a mix mix cloud account if you don't already have one. John, do you have a mix cloud account? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't yep. give it away the answer. Which I just want to know if he had one. I do. I, I know you well, have one. If he said no, then I that do. would be an easy answer. I do have but one. He but could, for all we know, he's got like 200 people on his Twitch channel and just didn't give it true. to us. That's true. That's true. <sighs> well, it wouldn't be the first time. You know, I just, you know he's uh, like his Twitch channel is like, uh, you know, Call of Duty slash DJing. I don't uh, know. No, my Twitch, my Twitch channel is, you know, Yo Yo Megaseg DJ. Oh. Thank you, Icelarcy. That was Yo Yo. He said yo yo before I try to be cool with it. He tried to make a cool Dan. It just dated. How'd it that out. work out? <laughs> so we're so, seeing who in the chat room actually pays attention to it. But like those of us that have like those <laughs> in the chat room are actually Facebook friends with us. We'll, we'll find out who's been paying attention to our own walls. It's interesting yeah, you know, how the there's additional votes that come in for. Uh, but see what yeah, I'm saying like is, <laughs> J yeah, like, that was a fill in. That was like D. <laughs> Day and night did D. Write your own. Write your <laughs> write your own candidate <laughs> for president. Uh, we have a lot of writings going on in our show today. It's going a lot to Dan. Okay, so so now the people who are writing Dan. Here's my part two for Dan. Is he going live stream? on on a platform like a facebook or an instagram or or a twitch or is he just just doing mixes and putting them on a mix cloud keep in mind they're behind us like a 30 seconds i know that's why i was like saying that yeah, was fun. well we got john and his son yeah. together a duo like one does the left deck, one does the right deck. Yeah, or one does filters. I was gonna say one, yeah, one one pushes the, one turns the, the camera button and gives yeah, I'll click the yeah. live stream button. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. All right. So um should we do you do you guys want to talk about what you do? So my sure. my only music music shows that I do have been the 70s like we just did a 70s show and i'm going to be doing an 80s version uh next week so it's not an actual mixed show but it's the going through and talking about 80s uh 80s for the crate dan now you actually did a little bit more than that yeah yeah so i the past two weeks i kind of i got i was getting antsy i just I was like i can't i can't just not play um so the past two weekends I have created a, a mix in my basement here, actually right back there, and just uploaded it to Mixcloud. I've not been wild about the live stream because of just the phonetics of trying to make it to work and where to post. And so I have a Twitch account, but I haven't gotten all the extra pieces together to make it so that I can do it. Because if I'm going to do it, I want to do it right. I don't want to do it, you know half-hearted I, I want to, to make sure i go all out with it so i've been working on some of those details so that switch over to twitch might happen sooner rather than later if they don't like get banned or taken down before i do mm -hmm. but for now i'm at least doing mixed clouds and i've done the past two weekends uh, an hour set the one night and i think uh, 45 minutes the other so. nice yeah so if you don't follow dan on mixed cloud make sure you um look him up and you follow him on mixed cloud um, we're gonna have John do do a mix in the next in the next couple weeks. <laughs> but then I, yeah, I don't see, know why he's laughing because I, I, <laughs> if I'm playing songs, I want to talk about them. So I, I would. Well, say, you could, but you could talk. About, I, but you could like I talk while I'm doing my live stream. I so you can talk while you're doing it. And that's that's actually what I was thinking about doing with that eighty. The next eighties set is actually to do it from back there, not yeah, not there 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 where we have the uh, the the five camera shoot or four camera shoot is oh, what we have back there me. we have yeah. a five camera shoot i, I don't know. well i had to set this up because it wasn't it wasn't my idea i mean i i'm good at sitting here laptop there and then you know screen capture and i'm good but somebody had to have oh let's turn a camera this way and let's do it this and then let's have this one little cool view this way and then how about this view because i look really good from that view well i'm gonna be honest when i did my first live stream on facebook i literally used my phone propped it up with some books <laughs> and went live with just the camera angle at, you know, just shooting at me and, and my equipment with the speakers on blast. And, and then of course I'm screaming. I didn't even use a microphone. I'm like screaming into the phone 
talking to the people that were on it and I ended up doing four hours. Oh, That's how crazy my <laughs> set ends up getting. And I got over like 3000 views on it. And that was like, not all the bells and whistles that everybody's like talking about that. Oh, the only way to do it the right way. You know, I'm not saying like you, John, but I'm saying like these DJs on, you know, like Facebook right now are like, Oh, you know, you have to do this. No, do it for the fun of it. Yeah. Honestly, like it's just, again, talking, the whole virtual DJ Serato yeah. Mac PC like that's my whole thing with about it you know we're not doing like if people are doing this because they're trying to get something out of it like I don't know what so, then you're not doing it for the right reasons I'm doing it for the fun of it and for pain yeah so yes of course after that first week I had you know people reach out to me and be like girl stop using your phone <laughs> Stop screaming into the camera. <laughs> like, stop. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? I have text that set me up. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, is an A1 tech going to come to my house right now and yes, set me will. up? Sweet. No, they'll be there in a second. <laughs> and then, <laughs> you know, and then of course I had people reach out and be like, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. This. And I was like, ew, okay. So, uh, you know, went through it. I know like Robin went in the chat. Robin was in one of my live stream sets. She was there the whole entire night. I think that went a like, three and a half hour night. Goodness she was there the whole night. I went to like one in the morning, which I think is like 2 a.m. her time. She was having a blast. So like I said, do it for just for the love of it and have fun. So if you don't follow me on Twitch or Instagram or Facebook, make sure you guys follow me because I try to go live Thursday, Friday and Saturdays on all different platforms. I don't just stay on one platform like I'll do Thursday on Instagram. I'll do like a throwback Thursday on Instagram Friday, I'll probably do Twitch. And then Saturday, I do either Facebook or Twitch, but I'm kind of switching more to Twitch right now to try to get that following. Sure. So have fun with it. If, whether you, like I said, whether you just do a mix or a live stream, just do it for the fun of it. Excellent. So, so right. far for those Number of you, if ever has, has voted for Dan on both of the first two. Oh, it's Dan. You, you've got, if you voted for Dan, you've got two points. If you've been voting for me so far, you're not doing too well. Okay. All right. Number so number three is a big thing for um, you mobile DJs and meaning you, meaning me too. Um, I know we're not doing events. I know a lot of our events are, you know, we're getting emails and phone calls and messages and texts and everything about events either getting canceled or postponed or, you know, I don't know what to do with it. But instead of waiting for those clients to reach out to you, especially even the ones I'm not even talking about the ones you definitely should be reaching out to like the April, May ones, but even like the summertime ones, you should be reaching out to the clients. And I'm not saying just reaching out going, Hey, I know your events coming up and what do you want to do? But, you know, reach out to them and just be like, Hey, I'm here for you guys. You know, I, I'm here for you. If you have any concerns, if you want to talk about anything, you're stressed out because you're planning because remember, we're I mean, I don't want to just say we're just the entertainment, but our clients are planning more than just entertainment. They're dealing with a the venue. They're dealing with a photographer, a videographer, you know, a caterer, you know, all different types of maybe they got out of town people, hotels, this and that. So they're dealing with a whole bunch of stuff, not just us. So just kind of reach out to them and just do a little friendly note to them. Hey, you know, we're, we're with you for the long haul, you know, whether you decide you want to postpone, you know, to the summertime or you want to postpone till 2021, just know I'm here for you, whatever you need, even if it's just, just to say you're stressed out, I could help you, you know, talk you off the ledge, do whatever I have to do, show you a picture of how my kids are hitting each other in the back, you know, whatever you need to say to them just to put a smile on their face. Trust me, it's going to go a long way. So just because we're not performing doesn't mean that we that the communication has to stop. So communicate with them. Excellent. So number three, who is more likely or has already done this or will do this communicating with their, their upcoming events, their upcoming clients. Damn. And being proactive, not oh, waiting see. for their clients to reach them first. So in the chat room, vote on number, yeah, number three, D, uh, D, Tim, um, number three, and then either Dan or myself. I have to give a shout out to Mark who's in the chat because he's been with me for every single live stream show and that I've done. Having a tequila. With his tequila. Yeah. <laughs> I like the way they do that. Oh. 
No, wait. Oh. Who, who's C? Who's C? <laughs> <laughs> I think three is C, yeah. Like maybe me, D, C, I guess, but. Yeah, I think I think that the C must three be. C. Oh, I'm guessing probably A, B, or C of, of both. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. oh, yeah, Robin's be... using shorthand with us tonight. Yeah, I gotta I, be I, on my ball. I haven't been here in a while. I gotta be on my ball. Yeah, I think we're a month <laughs> off of school. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> so this one. Ooh, it's oh yeah, wow. This is John's, a... John's taking this one. This one John's yeah. taking this one. Yeah, because there's a, Deb voted on Facebook. Deb, thank you much for for being there and voting on Facebook. So okay. Yeah. That gives us four to, well. John took this one. Yeah, you know, it would be five to two uh, with Robin's uh, with Robin's uh, uh, vote there. So, Dan, uh, have you had a chance? To, face. Have, have, have you had a chance to reach out to any any clients so far? I have. Okay. I have reached out. Now my April one beat me to the punch, um, just because I was kind of holding out hope that it was going to be shorter rather than it did. Uh, but my May ones through. I would say my second weekend in June, I've reached out. So that's that's where I've gotten to so far. Um, but that then that's kind of where I'm holding out hope. So, so and but that, are you just reaching out? Are you planning or reaching out, to, talking just, to them? Just where are you standing? I, I haven't done the whole. You know, I'm 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 here for you. Don't you know? If you need anything, let me know. But more along the lines of, listen, things are kind of getting crazy and I understand. And like, I've got one that's a military wedding and I was like, Hey, where are we dealing with this here? Is that, is he even going to be allowed back in the States? Cause he's actually out of the States right now dealing yeah. with um, yeah. where his base is. Um, and, and just, you know, talking with them, where are we standing? How's it going? Do you want to hold a date? You know, do you want to hold a date? Like, you know, have you talked to a venue because a couple of our venues in the area are holding like Fridays or Sundays for the couples because that's very unusual for us so we'll hold a date and then if we have to move it we'll move it and if not you can still have your original date and a lot of them are jumping on that and i've kind of gone on that same bandwagon for the area so yeah yeah I'm pretty much i've been i've reached out to most every event between now and september and it's not so much that um you know my gut feeling is none of these are going to go uh we won't be doing any of them uh, but Right now, the the early ones, of course, are moving to a later date, and the idea is that okay. So here's here's some uh, common questions that I've been having from some of our early ones, and I just want to let you know how I will handle this with your your day if we need to reschedule. And it would be, you know, that if it's something that we're moving to a day that I'm available, I'd love to do it, and I will be there for you. If I'm already booked and that day is the only day that you can do it, we'll have two options. You can either, you know. I can, we can either cancel the contract, refund your money, and you can find someone else. Or um, I have uh, my two, my two sons who are also doing, doing events and such. And uh, between them, them or even Lori uh, getting back into it uh, to go and perform, we would have another option that would be a very uh, high quality uh, nice. option. So, so that's what I've been doing is really just kind of wanting to let them know because the question I've been getting from not only people who are inquiring to book weddings for a fall right now that are new clients i mean the first question is okay what's the refund uh what or what happens with the retainer if if this covid stuff doesn't stop so that's what i've been reaching out with that so yeah this just all sucks <laughs> really i'm trying to stay positive with you guys yeah but... <laughs> yeah day day if you get a chance uh, watch my video that i did today and that will mm -hmm. uh, that will explain to you why i w what my thoughts are behind this um there's there's uh, i did a really pretty good video on on a uh, document talking about phase one, two, three, and four. Yeah, um, and that was a good video. Yeah, yeah. you ch check that out, and then you know, that'll explain where, what, why I'm seeing and thinking. So, okay, so, so this one's actually one that both Dan and I are are, are yes. both doing. So, so yes, love it. Uh, Robin's the only one who got this one completely right. No, I, Bill Bill Marsh. Although I think he kind of came in after we started talking about. It, so. <laughs> no, he added the all, all of the above in before we started talking. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we're up to number four. Number four. So number four is me telling you guys to educate yourself, and I'm not just saying educate yourself as in your DJ business or DJ training. But right now, unless you're kind of living under a rock, all over every social media outlet. There is endless online educational training about everything, free workouts, free mastermind classes, free, like some are freed, some are paid, but mm -hmm. there is just tons and tons of online classes. 
So utilize them, guys, you know, something that you've always wanted to get into or just wanted to, hey, I really wanted to learn about this or I wanted to really get into this. Trust me, it's out there right now. And like I said, there's a, there's a ton of free content out there. And then there's some like the mastermind classes that are paid content, but it's not really that expensive. So definitely start educating yourself on some things that you've really wanted to like get into but never had the time or if it's DJ related and you just wanted to hey I want to learn more about doing this with my equipment or, or upgrading this and doing stuff trust me besides all the DJ and TV content which is a ton of and if you haven't received any of those emails saying what John is doing for everybody you must be living under a rock because he's doing something great for everybody there's just so much other stuff to be out there to, to learn about and everything. So for people who are just sitting around on their couch doing nothing, come on, people, this is the time to push yourself. I know it's hard. I know we're all in a rut and everything. But once you start pushing yourself, trust me, you're going to feel better mentally and physically doing this. Excellent. So number four, the vote is either for Dan or myself. Um, which one of us has been or will be using this time to really study and and utilizing some online education or educational opportunities let's put it that way um during this this kind of slow time dan who comes from the teaching background who is involved and knows the importance of education usually those are the people that don't do anything i'm just saying myself, who, <laughs> who has has power tools Lots of power tools over there. I'm good. I'm going to go have a burger. <laughs> or somebody who puts out tons of content and is always busy with all of it. So he's like, mm, I'm good too. Yeah. Watching your own shows doesn't count. Doesn't count. Yeah. It doesn't count. It's got to be different for, yeah, it's got to be different. It's got to be different content for both of you guys. It has to be something, something different, something new or even DJ related. But, but, but when not. I watch my shows, I like to argue. <laughs> oh. What himself. were you thinking? You know, that, I just can't, can't end that. Oh, oh, it's starting to come in. The, the chat room's starting to come in. And Bill comes, Bill comes in with the, the answer C. And like I said, it doesn't have to be DJ related. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at some of the mastermind programs that are not even anything DJ. It's, it's more for me to, to kind of, figure stuff out business-wise and right. things like that. That's not even to do with like a DJ company, but just business in general. So, you know, it could be any type of content. I mean, maybe John is looking at some from yoga and, you know, is really <laughs> yeah. trying okay. out downward dog. You know, I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah that's exactly what I was thinking too. Uh, so this one's this one's actually uh, with uh, some Facebook votes. Uh, there's there's okay. some- this one is is pretty much split uh, between Dan and myself on this one. Yeah, well, on the chat, most of it's going to John. Yeah, we've got, uh, I think I've got three, four uh, Facebook uh, votes for Dan. Very interesting. Yeah. I'm really liking these these votes today. So, yeah, we've got some good good engagement. <laughs> John trolls his own shows. That's right, I do. There's no shame in that. There's it's, absolutely no shame in that. What's really sad is when I get into an argument in the chat with myself. It's just embarrassing. Yeah, that's a little, yeah, that's, you know, why, aren't you, my, why aren't you responding? Yeah, you know? well, and then I start calling, my, me? calling myself names, and then, you know, the next thing. All right, so. Dan. Education wise, have, are, is there anything you're working on right now? Yes, but not to the level that I've been wanting to. Mm-hmm. I've been catching up on some videos and and watching some of the shows that I've missed and some of the stuff that in the past I just didn't have time for. But it's not like I originally had a goal of of probably four full shows a week, like full four. Full and are you talking about like shows. DJ and TV type shows? Or you're talking about something completely not even DJ related. Mainly, mainly DJ or business related. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so not th- those are the two areas that I'm kind of focusing on um, or spending the time. So that's my that was my goal. It's been more close to two a week, but it's still yeah. Okay. Excellent, John. Excellent. So for my I, I, my stuff has really been outside of the DJ industry, spending much more time um, specifically looking at the business climate right now. I've been I've been studying and reading some different things with that. Yep. Then I have uh, three different books that I'm reading right now, uh, dealing with ones ones a a, a uh, 
a sci-fi type book that ironically not a Star Wars book for those of you who have ever seen my library of Star Wars books that has like 300 Star Wars books. Um, and then I have uh, uh, two different business books. One's a light business book, more of the, I, I believe it's like the go-giver is what uh, that one uh, is, is that in that level. And then I have one that's more of an in-depth uh, leadership book that's in that sales and leadership talking about that. So I've spent, I've been kind of spending more time uh, getting back into some of the John Maxwell teachings right now because I had uh, Alan Walker on a week or two, probably two or three weeks ago, and we spoke about some John Maxwell things. And it really kind of, whet the appetite to get back into some of those, that, that thought and that teaching. Um, I've always been kind of a fan of, of Maxwell and the whole leadership area and developing that side of oneself. And it's like, hmm, you know, I do, I know a lot about that stuff. So I want to try to increase and, and grow that side of, of myself. So those are the areas in which I have been working on. I haven't had, I haven't done virtually anything for, you know, pulling out the controller and practicing which is something I've been kind of like, hmm, I should be doing more of that. I've watched uh, you know, MJ doing some uh, his show a couple of times, but there's the performance side of it, and I really think that's going to probably be my June um, time frame is to really spend June, uh, the summertime, when we can open up the doors and we can DJ to the, um, you know, the lake people who come up and they'll all be up, but they can't go and see their neighbors type of thing. So, so that was that. So I think it's, that's another split one here. So... Yeah. Everyone's right. Woo! Everybody okay. wins. Everybody wins a car. You win a car. You win a car. Okay. Sorry. Number five. Let's let's get this wrapped up. Okay. I think so we've number got some five. We want to get in is, the chill room. Okay. Number five is back, kind of business re, uh, DJ related a little bit for for us, and it is about networking. But it is about networking with people that you don't usually network with. Mm -hmm. And it's about reaching out to others in the industry that you've always wanted to reach out to, but you just never did. And let's be honest, nobody right now can say, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm too busy, I can't talk. Um, and you know, like I know you guys do the chill room and stuff like that, but I actually have reached out to somebody who I've admired and sent um, two people I have. I sent an Instagram message to somebody and I was like, eh, and they're never gonna read it. And within 48 hours, I got um, a message back thanking me for the kind words and for the messages. And we actually now correspond with each other. And I also sent a Facebook message to a DJ that I've always admired and just said, look, I've always, you know, loved your work. And, you know, I always admire everything you do. And I and I learn from it and, and everything. And again, within like 48 hours, I got Come a on, message back. It only back. took me 10 minutes to get back to you. Yeah, I, not 40 I just wanted to, I wanted to make it a little better, Dan, and say like, it was, you know, and then be like, and it was Dan on both. Um, but yeah, and, and that person too, we're going to try to do like a collaboration Nice. when things like calm down and for him to bring that up to me, I was just like, wait, hold on. Do I need to do a screenshot of this? Do like, is he drinking? You know, like, so you never know who you're you know, just reach out to these people and be like, hey, you know, this is going on, blah, blah, blah. You know, this is what's happening. I just, you know, really wanted to talk to you about this. All they can say is no or they don't respond. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. But to know that you can actually reach out to this person and they might even respond and start talking to you. To me, it's somebody who I, these two people I've never even reached out to nice. ever. And I just figured I take the time and I reach out to them. So definitely start networking with some people who are not in your circle and who you don't always bring things up to, because sometimes it's refreshing to network with somebody who is totally different than you normally network and you just have a different vibe with them. So yes. So network and reach out to other people who are not in your circle. So Dan, have you been networking? Or are we going to give them a chance to answer? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just getting you thinking about it. Uh -huh. They've been answering it, by the way. Okay, I've only seen two answers in. The so yeah, I've got a couple of them too. So the only thing is that, that so far the answers are unanimous. So, is it Dan who is most likely to network with others in the industry that he isn't currently networking with, or is it me? Now, see, in all fairness. 
the fact that she said not usually networked with. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's anybody John has left to network with. I, ironically, it doesn't fit exactly what Cheney described, but yeah, no, that's because I, I, it, it's not fair that, you know, it would be people that have never been on a show because that's. But here's the thing yeah. you, but you can't, I mean, I know you're like the nicest guy and stuff, but <laughs> are you really friends and always talk to every single person who's been on your show? Cause that's a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. That, yeah, so that, that part wouldn't, that wouldn't count. Right. So to it's... reach out to even to somebody who's been on your show and just be like, Hey, I know you're on my show like two years ago, but I, I'm not saying like, I want you back yet. You know, you could please come back if you know, I would mm -hmm. love to, but I just wanted to reach out to you and talk to you about something. So it could be somebody who. So not necessarily new reach outs, just maybe, uh, not in a regular yeah. circle. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like somebody who's not in your regular circle, who you would always just reach out to and call if you needed something with DJing or had a question or this and that. Like I said, these two people, I don't even live in Chicago, live nowhere near me. One of them is famous. One of them is like in that other realm in, in like the club industry of being famous, but not like to that extent. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hold on. There we go. Not to we're, in a, we're in a, there's empty. Um, <laughs> and just to know that I now have two great, like, friends that I can reach out to and talk about music and stuff with, to me, is just refreshing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got some votes. We've got some Dan votes. We've got a couple of both. And then, of course, uh, there's been quite a few votes for myself. Actually, Dan, you've been coming in pr stronger here towards the, the last uh, few votes. So, uh, I hate to disappoint everybody. I have not. <laughs> this is one area that I've recognized, I think, more during this time in some aspects, how much of an introvert I really am. Mm -hmm. And, and so for me to reach out to people that I've never met or or haven't really come along close, I always kind of go in my head like, oh, I'm bothering them. I know I'm not like I know I, I know up here I'm not. But like my first gut instinct is that I might be. So I have reached out to some friends of mine that have kind of been in the circle, but not really. So like I've talked with especially some that are doing more streaming stuff. I've made sure I've tuned into their streams or or, you know, even if it's only like five, 10 minutes, just to, you know, hey, I give them some love and 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 say, hey, I appreciate what I what you're doing. And I liked hearing what I was hearing. And yada, yada, yada. Um, so I've done that. But I can't I wouldn't count that. So those of you that got John, I'm going to say probably. Right, John. So I'm so, giving him credit. He didn't even answer. Yet. Yeah. So for the, this is actually an area that I have been working on um, recently, but I've been working on it a little bit different than what Shaney described. I've been spending time reaching out, finding and reaching out to local DJs. And I say local within an hour of me. Um, the people I had no idea existed that are out there. And I've wanted to try to to connect with them and uh, build some relationships with, uh, I think I've got about six different people that I have been engaging uh, with on a local on a local level. So it's all been done digitally just because we can't travel and can't do anything, but I wanted to start reaching out because it's, it's interesting is that if you're not paying attention to what's going on in your market, sometimes you will find that there are people who have really been working on their game and they've been doing a really, really nice job and you're not aware of that. So there's another person that I could be re working with and referring business to because I'm, I need to have people who are available if I'm booked and say, oh, hey, I know that this person, uh, you know, Kathleen can do a really, really good job. Check, uh, you know, go meet with Kathleen and see if, if it's a good fit. So that's what I've been working on to try to build those relationships because I, unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to describe it, I know more DJs nationally and internationally than I know within an hour of my of my home. And, and I wanted to try, try to help that situation a little bit. So but when yeah. you have 12 kids that can do the work, I mean, you, how, how many gigs do you have to get before you can? Exactly. I mean, that's like, you know, I have to get to 13 or 14 before. Uh, well, you know, really 12 kids myself could do, I could do a show, maybe send Lori out. So yeah, there's, there's 13. So yeah, by the 15th show, then I have to worry. Then again, maybe, you know, if they're all working, I could just stay home and I could just send that show out too. Yeah. You know, and, and here's my thing, guys. I mean, like I said, you know, especially with the live streaming right now, every everybody's a bedroom DJ right now. Everybody is live streaming. So if you have some time, I definitely, 
even if it's like just laying in bed on your phone, no matter what time you go on, there's going to be somebody in your circle yeah. that is DJing or somebody who's not in your circle of people who have shared, shared the live streams, you know, to places. So like Dan said, definitely check them out, show them some love because you also don't know what's going to come from that. I mean, I know like Day said, you know, I need a reason to contact somebody. I just can't hit them up for no reason. Well, I agree with that. I didn't just contact somebody and say, hi, <laughs> you know, and then like, you know, or do that stupid poke that people still do on Facebook that I, I don't, what, what, okay, somebody poked there? me. What, and what, what am I supposed to do now? Like, I still don't understand when people Smack still em. do that. Like, what do you do when they do that on Facebook? Like still, I'm like, why is that option still there? This is but, still, right? um, you know, like my whole thing is I've been watching some of these inner, like international DJs and mm -hmm. all these other people live streaming and like listening to just the content of their music and how they mix and how they are, they're doing things and, you know, the creativity and to just kind of watch them. And that's how I reached out to these people, you know, and like I said, just send them a message. Hey, I watched your live stream. It was incredible. I just wanted to let you know, I admire, you know, what you're doing there. Thanks for putting me in a, in a great mood tonight. Mm -hmm. And you never know what you're going to, you know, get just from sending that type of message. I know personally, I try to respond to my live stream messages. If I can't do it live, I definitely then go back and I, you know, hit a like button or I respond afterwards just to show people that I appreciate that they're there. So definitely if you just need some, some, some umph to get you going, lay in your bed, sit on the couch in your daytime or nighttime pajamas, whichever you're in. And, you know, open up your iPad, your computer, your phone, and just watch some of the live streams. Everybody's doing it. Trust me. Everybody's live yeah. streaming, no matter what time it is. And if you just need somewhere to, to vent, I'm live streaming Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You can vent in my chat room anytime you want. You can write stupid comments. I don't care. But you need to kind of push yourself through this quarantine to do something. And if it's not getting some educational content, if it's not listening to somebody's live stream or their mix cloud and getting some creativity from that, then do your crates. Hit up John or Dan or myself and be like, I just wanted to say hi. So at least you feel better that you're talking to somebody you know. Or but definitely we're we're all going through this together. We're, you know, it sucks. It's not ro rainbows and roses. Who was ever saying like it is? You could smack them in the face. It's okay. I definitely am getting anxiety. I'm definitely getting in my depression. I'm definitely going through it too. But I'm also pushing myself to do things for me to get myself out of it. Because if I go deep into those, it's a wrap for me. So that's why I'm doing the mixes. That's why I'm working on stuff. That's why I'm trying to keep my head mentally busy. So for all those people who are feeling that way, trust me get some free content on there, do a Zumba class, you know, do something, yep. you know, get yourself going. I mean, I know like uh, Nate Nelson does his recess class um, on Facebook for the kids, you know, like be an adult, uh, you know, live streaming on the recess class and have some stupid fun just to get yourself out there. Just do something to kind of get you out of that funk. And I know everybody's saying like, well, I'll get through this together. Just do it for you right now. Do what you have to do to get you through whatever you have to get to. Because if you have not watched John's, is it a video? I mean, yeah, it was a video I watched. The video content of what you posted. I mean, it's it's real. What's what we're going through right now. And for us to keep thinking, mm, so you know, maybe maybe ten days, maybe twenty days. You know, we gotta we gotta figure out what we're gonna do for our future. Yeah, for sure, Blake. For surely. Are the pokes gone? Are they seriously gone? Yeah, they are. I swear to God, if somebody pokes me tonight on Facebook. <laughs> I, I just went looking for them. I was going to. Uh, are they really gone? Is I, that why? Like, I, but it's, I, it's just the weirdest thing. I get them randomly. Yeah. It's, and I'm I like, think this, what do you do? I think this last update finally got rid of them. So they're like, what do you like? I never understood that on Facebook right now. So instead of instead of uh, doing that, they just will forward a video to you. Yay. Oh. Love that. That's great. So. All right. Hey, we need to wrap. And uh, the chill room, djntv.com slash chill is up next. If you guys haven't been there, you need to check that out. Uh, it's our The chill room is open 24-7, uh, so you can get some friends together during the day if you want to. And then about 9 o'clock at night, uh, 9 o'clock central, 10 o'clock sometimes, depending on the night. But then there's a group that get in, come in there each night and just, just kind of hang. And just a lot of this, the stresses and such Shaney's talking about. 
that's where they come in there to basically get away from some of that and not be as, not be lonely. You know, there's others out there that are doing the same things or not doing the same things we're doing. And this is our, our chance to get together and, and hang out in the chill room. DJNTV.com slash chill. So thank you very much for taking time to join us tonight. Janie, awesome having you back. We really appreciate yes. that. I had fun, guys. Thank you for having me back. Good. Thanks for coming Good. back. Me and MJ. You and MJ. He's there right he there. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in. Of course, make sure you're checking out The Chill Room. And as John said, coming up next week, some 80 shows. So great topics about music, ways to think about maybe some songs you may have forgotten about, and uh, the importance on your events and your sets. So have a great night. See you next time.